So you know when you're really excited for something to come out and you saw the trailers and it looked cool, looked interesting, and then you get it, and then it ends up being really, really bad. Just like this game. Though, I wasn't looking forward to this movie. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Anthony, here to give you guys another movie review, and this time it's for the new sci-fi thriller, Zone 414. Weird name. A private detective who has a strange past is hired by an eccentric businessman who invented AI in this entire world, apparently, is given the task to find the eccentric businessman's daughter in a town where androids and humans live together. The detective teams up with an advanced AI to solve the mystery of the missing daughter. So like I said, this movie is like cyberpunk, but not the concept of cyberpunk, not the ideas of cyberpunk, just the actual game. So if you played cyberpunk on PS4, you know what I'm talking about. But even then, that's giving it too much credit because at least the cyberpunk game, there's some cool elements, some nice characters, some charismatic characters, which this movie doesn't have at all. And at least in cyberpunk, you have some kind of fun. You know, this movie, no. It's just a boring slog with some kind of sci-fi elements. I mean, I don't want to rag on it too hard because I hate ragging on these low budget films, these smaller films that don't have that much resources given to them. But I mean, if you are going to set your movie in the future, in the dystopian future, with kind of some cyberpunk elements into it, I kind of want to see that and I don't really see that in this film. There is some kind of prosthetics showing the androids. Those are passable but just the whole world itself it's really dark and I know a lot of cyberpunk movies like Blade Runner and the like Total Recall all that stuff they have kind of like a dark world about them but I mean this one is really dark and I even turned up the brightness on my <laughs> on my TV and I was like is it just me or is it the movie also I thought there was a really funny scene in here where they're looking at surveillance cameras and uh, there's a stack of VHS's and I was just like wait we're in the near future and you guys, you guys went back to watching VHSs? Like, I got a whole bunch if you want to watch them. And that kind of goes along with some of the editing choices in this film where they do some transitions that looks like an old security footage. I, I don't know what happened with that. It took me out of the movie. Well, I wasn't really into the movie, but when I was into the movie, it just took me out. But my biggest issue with this film is that they will have characters that seem to be important or supposed to be important that the movie wants you to think that is important have giant long meaningful quotations uh monologues and i was just sitting there the whole time listening to what's coming out of their mouth and it was just like listening to charlie brown's mom just wah 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 wah, wah. and i kind of feel bad for guy pierce i mean he's he's a quality actor he's a he's a top actor he used to be at the top of his prime back in the late 80s early 90s and stuff but now he's just doing like straight to vod stuff that is not really that good i think i reviewed a movie uh last year or was it this year i don't remember i know it was bad <laughs> the seventh son where he played like a demon poor guy pierce i mean there's times in this film where he's literally just trying to find this girl and ask people simple questions like where'd you last see her do you know her whereabouts and people just give them the runaround there's people like sitting down to you know oh, let me tell you the the ancient history of android ai life and everything and he's literally just sitting there like dude can you get on with it can you get on with it ultimately guys i think that zone 414 needs to stay in zone 414 it's not a good movie definitely skip it don't waste your time maybe if it's on redbox and if you're a really big guy pierce fan check it out i guess but guys did you see zone 414 let me know in the comments down below did you like it did you hate it do you like these kind of cyberpunk kind of movies do you wish that there was a lot more of them i do but if we're getting stuff like this i don't want to see it did you like did you like this game did you like this game i, I kind of liked it <laughs> but guys don't forget to check out my twitter so you can stay up to date with my channel don't forget to like and subscribe do all that stuff and remember guys keep watching movies